What's going on guys, it's Push to Insanity and what you guys are watching today is another free 3D intro template tutorial. So go right ahead and open up the download file. If you guys don't know how to fix the missing textures, you guys can watch uh, my tutorial. And if you guys still don't know how to fix it, there's an extra tutorial that you guys can view. So if you guys don't understand how to fix the textures, watch that video that's in the download. And let's get into the tutorial. So open up the first part of your template, which is the Cinema 40 file. To edit your text, select both more text objects and change your text to whatever you want. You guys can also change the font of the text. As you guys can see, the material isn't there that was in the preview. So if you guys want to fix this, double click your material, select this button right here, and import the image that you guys are provided with in the download. And once you guys import that, you guys should have the material that were used in the template. If you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the road. So now if you guys want to change the color from being silver and green, you guys can add any of the pre-made textures at the bottom of the screen. So if you guys want to make it blue or red, simply drag that material and apply it to where the green material is located. Once you guys are done editing your text, go to your render settings, save your intro to your own desktop or folder, and you guys can start rendering out your Cinema 40 part of the intro. Once you guys have finished rendering your Cinema 40 part of your intro, go ahead and open up the second part of your template, which is your After Effects file. And you guys will notice that you're missing one file, which is the actual render of the template itself. So to fix this, right click your missing file and replace the footage with what you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. Now I didn't render out this intro template, however if you guys rendered it out, you'll do it as a PNG sequence. So all you guys gotta do is open up the first picture file, which should be the picture file with four zeros and make sure that PNG sequence is selected. To the other side, my love. So now if you guys don't have the background that was used in the template, import the file that I've given you in the download, which is the background.mp4. And all you guys gotta do is place this file below your intro composition, and you guys will get that background effect. So once you guys are finished with that, go to your composition, and add your composition to the render queue, and you guys can start rendering out your intro. If you guys like this tutorial and you guys want more in-depth tutorials, please let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.